Guys, today we're out on the street and we're gonna change someone's life forever. I've got one dollar and I got a guy here who I think needs it a little more than me. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, how you doing? What the fuck is this? You look you, you look like you can need this more than me. Here, take this dollar, buddy. Go change your life. Why give me a dollar? What are you talking about? You're homeless. I'm homeless. You're homeless. Look dude. at you! What the what? what are those? Dude, these are yeah. fucking great. These are new ballots, dude. What the fuck? Take the dollar, dude. You take the dollar. I'm not fucking homeless. Dude. My mom just kicked me out of my house. Yeah, right, dude. My, my uh, canopy is getting renovated. Fuck off, dude. Get yourself a new shirt, dude. You look like shit. I have a Lamborghini. Take my dollar, dude. Fuck you, dude. It'd be nice if you could uh, spare me a... I, I don't need it or anything. I just, I just think it's kind of... <laughs> well... Who's the winner now? Who's the real winner? <laughs> yeah! Wow, Ethan. Great moves. Keep it up. Proud of you. Guys, have you ever given a homeless person a dollar and had a friend hide in the bush and film it and then put it on the internet so you could make like $10,000? Well, that is a phenomenon that's been going on on YouTube a lot. And I'm starting to think that it's not about the dollar. I wanna know what's with prankers and why do they love homeless people so much? How did this get started and where does it end? All the answers here today on Nature Ray Street Productions' new reaction video entitled Fuck Me in the Ass and Prank Me Silly. I wish I was homeless so somebody cared about me. By the way, if there's any homeless minorities out there, please send me an email at uh, homelessminorities, Productions at gmail.business.com. We are looking for somebody to cast for our next upcoming video. Thank you so much. Let's get started. We start now. Around two years ago, the YouTube channel Whatever ran into a quirky homeless man who had a wacky, wacky skill of goofing around with his mustache. So they decided to do a genuinely nice thing. They pulled a bunch of money and went and surprised him with it. They made a heartwarming, feel great video that got 5 million views. The money was nice, but did you see that Whatever hat they gave him? Yeah, that's going right in the garbage. That's too trashy even for a homeless person. Soon after this video, the exploiting homeless people to get a ton of views and grow your channel craze? was born. Everyone will appreciate it as we make the world a better place. Best feeding the homeless pranks gone sexual, gone Best wrong, pranks, gone sexual. Best job, CJ. Hey, what you got from a homeless person? The first couple of homeless videos actually had a genuine niceness about it and they didn't seem forced at all. It wasn't until Vitaly made his homeless video that things got a little weird. Can you guys, look at, look at what you're doing to me. Can you guys back out? Okay, now what I love about this video is that the music, the sweet and cheery music, betrays what's actually going on in the scene. Let's take a closer look at what's actually happening in this video. We got enough for everybody. We got enough for everyone. We've got enough for everyone. I'm freaking out, dude. The music's just like, da -na 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 -na. fucking back up, everyone. Just keep watching. Wait, I'll put it in your hand. Not everybody, all right? Stop. 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 Just fucking rude as hell. Stop! Let's put that in! Stop. You know what this means? It just means that this is the best footage they had where he wasn't tripping out and yelling at everyone. The stop was the best they could do to make him look good. We got enough for everybody. This is not the only box. Okay. This is not the only box. Can you get in line? The line's right here. Got enough for everybody. No, no, just no. back up! Can you guys... Look at, look at what you're doing to me. Can you guys back up? We got enough for everybody. Just back up! Everyone's screaming and shit. Is this supposed to make me feel good? It makes me terrified. It makes me ashamed to be a human being. It's like the worst. Just watch this part. Just watch, watch this guy. We got enough sandwiches for everybody. I don't know. We're standing in line. We're standing in line. Back up. We've got enough sandwiches. It's like, I feel like it's just total chaos there. Just put this cheery music over and it's a fucking viral hit. I love that this whole thing could have been diffused if he just allowed someone else to hand the sandwiches out with him. But because he's so obsessed with being the one person that hands out each thousand sandwich, you just create this huge chaotic butt fuck fest, dude. Now I can't hate on the guy for giving away a bunch of sandwiches. He did a really nice thing in a really dangerous part of town. But I think it's the first video I saw where it's like, there's something a little bit going on here more than the sandwich. That disconnect from like what you're supposed to feel from what you're actually seeing was a really interesting first step towards the real 
exploiting the homeless phenomenon. So let's carry on, guys. Over 100,000 people have viewed my Feed the Homeless video. Now this is probably my favorite feeding the homeless person. Daniel Fernandez's ego and self-love is so enormous, you could barely even spot a homeless person behind the size of his enormous head. Daniel's like, I'm gonna talk to him in a language he understands. Hey, 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 hey! hey. 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 Look at him. I love this. He poured like one dollar of change in his fucking... He was eating that food, Daniel. You poured coffee and change in his fucking plate. He's eating there, man. The guy's like, man, you just ruined my meal. It was worth more than the amount of change you poured on it. Or in his words, hey, 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 uh, Give me a hug, man. Yeah. You don't get that editing, you don't get that song, you don't get that slow-mo for giving someone 95 cents and by the way, ruining their meal, Daniel. The only reason you play that music is so that you can feel like a god. So that you can feel like a saint, okay? And by the way, you are, you're very handsome by the way and I wouldn't mind seeing you naked but that's another story for another time. On your ear, although I am broken, my heart is Who the fuck wakes up someone to sleep on concrete for two cookies and water if their objective was not to make themselves look like a saint. You know what, he probably stayed there and when he woke up the dude was like, what the fuck, dude? But he cut that shit out, he didn't include that. At least give him a fucking Pepsi Max, dude. At least buy him a soda pop. Bottle of water, who cares about a bottle of water, dude? They're homeless, they probably drink from puddles on the ground. Who gives a fuck? What's up, man? You remember me? Yeah, I know. You remember me? Yeah, who am I? Who am I? Say my name, baby. Say my name. Seems that Daniel's been spending a little bit too much time with the DJ we all know and love. You remember me? Yeah, I know. Who am I? Okay, guys, you remember that homeless video we're watching? Well, let's get to the important part. Daniel. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly with the base of that. This guy's a couple of bad marriages away from joining Scientology. Mark my words. You see that? Look at that. <laughs> Just because of that, you get to keep this. One fucking dollar, Daniel? One fucking dollar? You're gonna slow-mo and dramatic music me for one dollar, dude? It's like, man, I'm homeless and even this wasn't worth my time, dude. I just wanna help people and record it and put it on YouTube. It's the story of my life. And I want to take all the color out, black and white only, slow-mos, 90% of the time, emotional music. It's a story of my life, I want everybody to see this. Ah, oh, it's my vision. As it is, with every cycle, there is a beginning and an end. We've seen the beginning, we've seen the meat, and I believe the end is here. There's only one man who could usher in the end of this cycle, indeed the end of humanity itself. Is he the rider of the apocalypse? No. He's a mortal man. He goes by one name. Shoe Nice. Ooh, Shoe Nice. If you guys don't know who Shoe Nice is, he's the guy who invented slowly killing yourself on YouTube. <coughs> Shoe Nice. Many consider Shoe Nice to be the moral center of YouTube itself. If this man starts a trend, it is sure to continue. I'm starting a new campaign on my YouTube channel. It's called Buy a McDouble for a Homeless Person. I got a half a million subscribers, so if everybody does it, a half a million people will get fed for a second. For a second. I appreciate, I appreciate the realism he injects into this. For a second. I gotta make sure I got the one. <laughs> it's special because I don't like onions and pickles. You. You're telling me the dude who's famous for downing a stick of deodorant won't eat pickles and onions? Okay, he's got a lot of time left. He's, you know, his face turning red like a tomato. Uh, this is real. This is what real helping the homeless looks like, guys. It's not glorious. It's not beautiful. It's shoe nice. Thank you. 
Okay, he's got a lot of time left. Can you guys back out? He's nibbling away like a gerbil or a hamster. Many homeless people walk around with an empty stomach. Stop. You remember me? Everybody to do is go buy a McDouble for somebody homeless. You remember me? Yeah, you Who am I? Thank you. All right, guys. Yo, you down in the bushes. Go buy a McDouble for a homeless guy, man. Ha <laughs> ha. The fuck are two guys doing down in the flowers is what I'm wondering. Either way. After this, Shoe Nice was never seen again. God rest his soul. He wanders the earth with Bobo, dropping cheeseburgers and Doritos everywhere they go. In the end, guys, are they all assholes? Yes, but not for helping homeless people. Am I a giant asshole? What the fuck have I done, right? Nothing. I, maybe I'm an asshole. Maybe I'm a fucking asshole. What the hell have I done? Maybe I need to go out and give someone a dollar and film it putting on YouTube. I mean, what does it matter what I've done, right? If you don't film it, it doesn't happen. I mean, that's about as good as it gets. If you don't film it, it didn't happen, guys. Welcome to 2015 and beyond. If you're gonna do something nice, film it, you fucking idiot, because you can inspire other people with it. No, because you can make a bunch of money on YouTube. Sponsorships, guys. Mwah, 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 mwah. Views, subscribers, the adorations of lots of young girls, by the way, follow me on Snapchat. Am I the asshole? Yeah, probably. Are they the asshole? Yeah. Where does that leave you? I don't know. Fuck off. It's the end of the video. It must have taken the whole salad think tank to come up with that biography. Holy crap. Come on, who's the genius salad who thought of this one? Was it you, Caesar? Or was it Greek? Cobb? Come on, Cobb. It was you, wasn't it? You're the smart one. Everyone loves Cobb's stuff.